Hey guys, what's going on? Evan from High Media here. I want to, uh, let's take a quick second to say hi to Mini Evan in the corner, who's going to be playing some gameplay for you in the background. Say hi, Mini Evan. Great. So, I want to talk about extraction-based game. Uh, Dark and Darker is, in fact, the one game that I feel is closest to something that I could enjoy playing. In fact, I love the skill system, the gameplay, the dungeon delving, the looting. I love everything about Dark and Darker. It feels like first-person Diablo, but like actually perilous with stakes. And the thing that kind of scuffs me with it is the fact that it's an extraction-based game. And I want to be very clear, Let just to address the elephant in the room, I'm aware of the current scandal going on with Dark and Darker. I do not condone it. This was a bad business move on their part. And I bought the game way a long time ago. I, I did not buy it recently. So just to cover my ass there. But to get back to it, my big, I think Dark and Darker is a perfectly fun game. The gameplay is, is great. Uh, the, 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 it feels like, you know, a very meritous, you know, when you are able to get out, it feels good. But the, here is, I think, unlike Battle Royale style games, which is a type of gameplay that, a gameplay mode that I just could not get behind and could not enjoy, just for the virtue of I just did not enjoy it, I actually have a, criti a criticism of the extraction uh, game genre as it exists right now, and I, I feel this way with Warzone, and I feel this way with Tarkov. Um, the fundament, the, the 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 issue I have with the extraction based game is fundamentally, it is pulling from it is a rogue like type of experience that does not lend you the ability to grow. So what do I mean by that? In Dark and Darker, as you will with most ex uh, extraction-based games, you will go in with bare bones gear, try and grab as much shit as you can, extract, put it in your stash, rinse, repeat. Sell miscellaneous items for cash. Um, This I have an issue with, primarily because... At the end of the day, you you are you can watch you're watching you know, on screen how bad I am at the game. I'm not fantastic at it. I will say I do enjoy the warlock class a lot, but you know when I'm able to extract and I feel good and I want to use the things I just extracted with. There's no way for me to ensure my gear and and keep it and in, and in, in, in now it's like a, a large part of my build. It's just dump the things that you like and that's it don't pick up don't pick up trash and it and what ends up happening and I get into this is because I don't want to lose any of my valuable goods I don't actually bring anything worth a damn with me into the um in, into the into the dungeons which What's the point of me wanting to bring loot out? Like, what I end up focusing on grabbing are potions, uh, uh, things that are valuable, and quest items. And that's it. I don't focus on anything else. Like, you know, sure, maybe I'll pick up some gear here and there that, you know, feeds into my class or whatever. But by and large, I could give a rat's ass about most of the other loot. And so, this kind of gets to the heart of why I have an issue with a lot of extraction-based games. Extraction-based games cannot be the entire crux of the game. And if they need to be a supplemental mode, what do I mean by that? The gear that I get in this extraction mode, I need to be able to use it for something else. So what, what would that look like in a Dark and Dark Raid? A low fantasy... Like a, a, like a low fantasy D and D type of thing. You know, you got some magic, you got some undead, but like you're not. But like realistically, you are just a squishy as human. Otherwise, well, I think that looks uh, in in the way of of a single player uh, generated. Um, 
I'd say that looks like a single player auto gen uh, uh, quest lines paths. Uh, you have single player content where you know you don't you aren't at risk of losing your losing your stuff when you go into it. This is the gear, and then upon beating a boss at the end of it, or doing co-op stuff with other players, and, and beating bosses by the, at the end of a, of a run, you uh, unlock. Uh, obviously, you get gold and stuff like that, but you also get access to uh, uh, an item that allows you to uh, soul bind a piece of gear. And you can only do these runs, these types of, and, you, and, and each time you do the run, it gets harder and it gets harder and it gets harder. And so you're incentivized to, uh, and you're, and, and you're incentivized to, uh, you know, keep going into harder and harder instances of the extraction to be able to, to fight more and more of the bosses, to be able to soul bind your gear so you can vote. And then what that ends up doing, in my mind, is giving a external reason to use the gear. You don't lose the gear in the fight with the boss at the solo, solo or co-op instance if you die. But if you do get the gear and, and the ability to beat it, then congratulations. You now have you now um have more slots, I guess. To, well, you have an extra slot or an extra or you can now get some like uh, items to find specific items you want to your person. You know, this is just an example. You know, the other thing I dislike about extraction-based shooters is so much of the game is in, like, of the game outside of the runs are in menus. Dark and Darker is a D... It feels like a D&D &D dungeon delving experience. There is absolutely zero reason for so much of the game to be in menus. There... There... If you... Make a town instance have like you know yes have you know make it so the npcs don't have them voiced obviously because that's a pain in the ass but like have them be text-based and you have to go up and you go up to them in the merchant district and talk to them and do all the different things um you know and it doesn't even have to necessarily be um mandatory that you have to physically go and talk to them what you can also do is just you know, just use the menus otherwise. But having that physical space in a town where you and 16 other players can, you know, you can't unseat your weapons or anything, uh, but like a little town where all of these, you know, merchants and stuff are and all the services and everything are, have a physical location that you can go to would, would, would lend a lot of credence to the world feeling kind of like bigger. And more importantly, it would also, um, have a space where you could interact with other players for longer than, at most, two minutes. It would even give you the option, maybe even build a little sparring arena inside where you guys can, where people can fight each other for fun and not lose their gear. There, the 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 dark and darker aesthetic and and, and premise that they have here is so good and so verbose that. I understand that it it, it 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 pains me that it doesn't exist, and I know that there's a good chance they might do that at some point. I'd like them to, but at the bare minimum, there needs to be something extrinsic that makes you want to, you know, use your loot, and 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 and, and more importantly, there needs to be a way to save to save your loot. You know, I understand it's a it's a it's a it's a unforgiving PvP battler and stuff like that, but by and large, I I don't know. I personally genuinely do feel like it, it the, the game would be better if, and I feel like the I feel like if you can't add extrinsic things like to supplement like, like to use your gear on, I would love a option to just be able to, um. Soul bind my gear, and if I can't soul bind my gear, I would love to just auto queue. I would love a button that, when I die, it just auto queues me into the next, um, into the next uh, match instead of bouncing me to um back to the main screen. Like if I'm gonna lose all of my shit anyways, 
and go and get kicked back to the main screen. Why the fuck do I want, give a shit about going back to the main screen? I'm not going to equip any new gear. If I had any gear, I lost it. And so I'm going to go, you know, hit the goblin caves and try and grind some more shit. I don't know. I think, I think, I, I think while I'm less enamored with the idea of the extraction. I do love the dungeon delving. I do love how dark and gritty it is. I do love having to pull up a torch and like just to see in front of me and I love the, the enemies. I love I love all of that. And if we're being completely honest, I'm in love with the aesthetic and I'm in love with the the, like the combat and the skill system and I'm in love with the with what dark and darker could be. It's just what it is at, the, at this premise, the extraction-based gameplay without any reason to feel like I, I should care about the loot I, I got does not feel good to me. You know, there are other types of game modes uh, in other games that I feel like do this kind of way, this risk versus reward type of thing. So a good example of this for me is the Elder Scrolls Online. They have a zone in there called the Imperial City. You have a little counter at the bottom called your Telvar counter. It, it, when you have, like, however much Telvar you physically have on your person, equates to how like, your multiplier on how much drops. So if you only have 100, you have a 2 times multiplier. And then, and, and so you'll get 2 times the amount of Telvar you would normally get if you have less than 100. And if you have over 1,000, if you have 1,000, it goes to 3. And then if you have 10,000, it goes to 4, and 4 is maxed out. Now, if you duck kill some shit, you get four times the amount of, of Telvar currency you would normally get. And if you die, you lose half of it, and if your player kills you, they get half of the shit you dropped. So, you know, you, you are incentivized as a, as a like, to, to kill people, which is understandable. And I, you know, it's in, in, there are tons of rewards, gear, loot, like plenty of things you can spend money on, collectibles. Real world, there are collectibles that you can get that cost real world money that you can get just by grinding out Telebar. And this isn't a huge part of the main game. It feeds into other aspects of the game. Like the other getting gear that you wouldn't really be able to get that's powerful. Uh, collectibles, skins, storage space and houses. They, they, added, they made the chests that they added to the housing. Is included in that. There's tons of cool things that do that. And honest to God, I wish you know, Dark and Darker had another element to it that feels like more. Like, I feel like the concept of a Dark and Darker would pair well with a Vermintide. You know what I mean? I mean, if you add, if Dark and Darker added a four-player Vermintide-like type of co-op mode where you have an objective and you have to fight through enemies and a thing that generates to get to the end, I think that would be lovely. I think that would be a great idea. And I think, if, and, and, and if you die, you don't lose your shit. Like, that would be wonderful. Well, Evan, what, what kind of loot do you get? Well, you only, you only get, like, loot from it that you have already found. Like, the loot that drops from them are, are things you've already found. And any and the, and the items you, be, you get from it are worth less. It would allow you to grind out health potions and shit. You know, it would make you, you know, do things like that. You can also, it's... I just want a reason to play the game outside of just hopping into matches, dying in the first few minutes, and then feeling like I've been spending more time in loading screens than I am playing the fucking game. And I'm, am I still going to play it? Absolutely. I genuinely do enjoy Dark and Darker, even if it's extraction-based bullshit. I genuinely like the Warlock class. It feels very good to me to play. Um, it's a nice balance of... You know, I, 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 I like the way it builds, I like the way it plays, and honestly, there's, I think I'm going to take some more time with it, but at the end of the day, I want Dark and Darker to be something it's probably not going to be for a long time, or if ever, and that makes me sad. So I hope that there is a Dungeon Delver type of game that, 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 that like, is, has, is as strong as a Dark and Darker without, you know, having the entirety of the experience of gameplay being just around the extraction games. I need extraction games to have more meaning to them than just hoarding loot like a dragon and never using it because you're scared to. Because that's just me. I'm the type of kid who saved all of his recovery items and, until he had already beaten the game to where they were useless at that point. 
ain't that a bitch? I beg this. Uh, anywho, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate your time and your viewership. Um, if you want to support the show, please consider doing so at himedia.gg slash tip. A dollar a month is a good about my health. And I'll see you guys next time. Good luck. Huggies.